Hey everybody, it's Drum Jr. And in this week's video, I'm going to be addressing the issue with Indigo Slash Fusion. I noticed all you guys right now watching this have been trying to jailbreak your Amazon Fire TV stick. You have successfully at this point, hopefully, installed Cody. But yet, you can get Fusion or Indigo to install, which is preventing you getting to the add-ons. Exodus, you know? So I got the news and this video is also going to show you a way around that issue. First off, the reason why Fusion slash Indigo is not working because this network currently have a lawsuit against the developers of that program, add-on software, whatever you want to call it. That's the problem and that's the reason why you guys have not became, been able to uh, get any farther than installing Cody. So, um, let me waste no time guys and jump right into it. Alright guys, now once you launch Kodi, what you're going to want to do is go up to the gear, click that, and we're going to want to go all the way down to File Manager, click that, and you want to want to add a source. When you click add a source, click none, and then type in the exact URL I am going to type in. Alright guys, this is the complete URL. Um, don't worry if this was typed in a little bit too fast. I'm going to give you guys a moment to type it in and catch up. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what this is. This is basically the URL to install what I find to be the best alternative to Fusion slash Indigo. The name of it is called Aries Wizard. It has the add-ons in there where you can install like Exodus, Boris Devil, and all of that. Plus, it also have they like to call them builds, where it has everything already installed in there for you. So this is a pretty cool um, application and program. So um. I think this is enough time I gave you guys. So once you got this in, go ahead and scroll over to OK, press OK, and name it something, name it whatever you want to name it. So I'm going to go ahead and just type, I'm going to type M, forget it. You can leave it as magic because it automatically fills it in with magic, but because I kind of already have this installed, I don't want to duplicate. So once you named it, whatever you want to name it, hit OK. Now once you guys do that, what you're going to want to do is go back and go back. Okay, once you get to the main Cody screen, you're going to want to go down to add-ons and click it. Once you get to the add-on screen, go to the top little box, the open box, and click it. All right. Once you are here at this screen, you're going to want to scroll down to install from zip file. Click install from zip file and find whatever you named it. In my instance, I named it M. If you left it magic, like it pre-fills out, you would click magic. But let's, let me click M. So I'm click M. Once you click M, scroll down and click repository Aries project and click it. Once you click that, it's going to take you up to another, I call it subfolder, and this is actually the zip file for the program. Click it and give it a moment. It's going to install. Once it install, you would know because you'll get a little um, notification in the corner. All right. Aries project add on. See, in my case, it said update it because I believe I already have it installed. But basically, once you get whatever that notification says in that corner, you're going to want to now or go up to install from repository. Click that and go down to Aries project. Once you get to Aries project, click it and go down to program add on. 
click that folder and here is Aries Wizard. Click it, make sure you highlight it over, install, and click that. It's going to install. You're going to notice it's saying downloading off in the corner and then it just popped up the notification. Aries Wizard, add on install. Perfect. Guys, you did it. So now let's go back to the main screen, the main um, Cody screen. And if you click add ons and go down to program add ons, you see Aries Wizard right here. Click Aries Wizards and then give it a minute to open up and load. Right now, it's setting up for the first time in the launch, so it's going to do all this little abstracting folders and files because it was a zip and uh, give it a moment and then it will pop up and once it pop up I will show you guys how to install Exodus so here's the screen of Aries Wizard and um, like I mentioned earlier how I have builds you can browse builds over there uh, sooner or later I don't know when I will make a video of reviewing what I think is the best built for Cody 17.3 but right now I'm trying to get you guys Indigo so let's scroll over to browse add-ons click browse add-ons let it load go down one to video add-ons click that scroll down until you see Exodus okay guys Exodus is still gonna be purple on your guys screen but because I have it installed it's letting me know by showing it as green scroll over once it highlights scroll over and hit install it will immediately pop up this wizard and do its work and extract that zip and install exodus so okay once you get this screen exodus was successfully installed guys and now all you gotta do is go up in the corner and close this program down go back and you will notice if you go back to your add-on screen you will see on video add-on Exodus will now be here and that's it you just installed Exodus on your Kodi so that is the alternative method to get in Exodus your add-ons but um, hopefully you enjoyed this video and I hope it addressed all you guys' questions and concern. If you still have questions or you're stuck at any point, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will get to it as soon as possible. I'm pretty good at that. And give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this content. Well, guys, this is Rome Jr. And I'll see you guys on the next video.